for the early stage melanoma, the first line of defense is surgery. And it's not just surgery. It's surgery to remove a margin of normal tissue, which is called the wide local excision. It's called wide because you go widely around the location of the original tumor. If uh, it's a scar that's, I don't know, say that long, you have to go twice as long in the oval uh, removal of the skin because you have to bring the edges together. And if you do it as a straight line, the corners will pinch. If you do it as an oval, the corners won't pinch, which is interesting. At the same time of the surgery, the surgeon will inject a teeny amount of blue dye and a teeny amount of radioactivity to track where the dye and the radioactivity go. That's the so-called sentinel draining lymph node. And they will follow that radioactivity or that blue dye and find out what lymph node it goes to. So let's say it's in your thigh, it's gonna go right to the groin. If it's your arm above the elbow, it's gonna to go to the underarm, the axilla. If it's your distal arm here, it could go to your inner elbow or your axilla, one or the other, sometimes both. And where that sentinel node is, is determined by the surgeon. And he will take that node or a couple of nodes out. And that gives critical prognostic information and puts the patient in a position where if it's positive, they might be eligible for this adjuvant therapy, which we think helps them. When you get to stage four disease, surgery is generally no longer an option. Although, interestingly, sometimes our drugs are very effective and that leaves us after everything shrinks away with one lesion, that's it. And there the surgeon used to never tread, but now we'll encourage them to remove it. So in the same way that in colorectal cancer, the advent of effective therapy for the liver meant that uh, tumors would be totally shrink and you'd be left with one little tumor in the liver. Surgeons go in and take that out. 